I'm Sol Ballard, transformational coach, journalist, and producer. My obsession with personal development began while recovering from the self-destructive lifestyle I led many years ago. And that obsession hasn't ceased since. Recently, after feeling the call to publicly share my transformational journey, I found there are various misguided beliefs deterring many from fully embodying their aligned direction. Join me as I debunk the narrow view of therapy and bust through its common misconceptions while also showcasing alternative modalities offering practical solutions to help carve your own transformational path. Welcome to Embody. As a creator, I am no stranger to finding unique ways to prevent burnout, diffuse procrastination, spark creativity, and fuel my determination. And right here where I live, in Miami Beach, tucked away from the glitz, the glamour, and the blaring beats of nightclubs, I found what felt like a restorative treatment that helps me do just that. What's this restorative treatment, you ask? It's called the Wave Silent Disco. You may have heard of a silent disco before, an event where people gather together and have a disco, but with a headset. But my experience at the Wave is far beyond those experienced at any music fest. I first attended it at the start of 2021 through an event called The Breakfast Club. I hesitated to try it first because the foundation for the Wave is based on dance therapy. And well, I don't dance. Because like most people who hear of dance therapy for the first time, I was very confused as to what exactly it entailed. But once I tried it, I knew it was going to be a part of my daily rhythm. It felt very therapeutic, very hypnotic, and almost medicinal. Leaving me wondering if this unconventional therapy could be an alternative to talk therapy. I felt I had released so much in such little time, and dance therapy is considered therapy, so I didn't see why not. I wasn't sure, but I was about to find out. I wanted to test it. I was curious to see how this experience impacted other people. I began by talking my friend Steven to it, seeing he's pretty traditional. It would be interesting to see his reaction, since this experience would be outside his comfort zone. So I've been going to the beach with uh, some uh, friends of mine, uh, and there's this woman who runs this dance therapy um, uh, session, it's called like a silent disco, uh, wave silent disco. And so we've been going out there and we've just been dancing on the beach. It's meant to be very therapeutic with the elements of water. It's meant to be very therapeutic with uh, the music that she chooses. Her voice alone is very therapeutic. So uh, so it's meant to just help you just break out of certain uh, patterns and emotions that, it, um, that you may be stuck in. You said static. And by static, I think you meant... Uh... After explaining a bit, I think I got him intrigued. I elaborated on how this could help him get unstuck and up-level his life in a whole new way. Static would be just sitting, like I said, laying on the couch, mm-hmm. and talking, stand still. And, and, and again, somebody writing notes. But this is very, this is different modality, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's more li- as you, I think you use the word liberating. Mm-hmm. Could you expound on that? I explained how many of us get caught up in repeating cycles of the same mental states causing us to get stuck in certain ways of being. It's like doing the same exercise regime over and over again. You'll see improvements at first, then you plateau. The way out of that plateau is to do something different. So what I've gotten from this dance therapy is that you get to move in a different way and it frees you up and it unlocks you so that you can move in a way that you've never seen yourself move before. And after that, you can carry that into the world and you begin to see yourself move in a different way that you've never seen yourself do. Going back to the exercising, you do the same resume over and over and over again, you plateau, you stop seeing results. So what do you do? You move different. 
you do something else. As a transformational coach, I know that if I could just get my client to see things from a different perspective, I can plant a seed for deep, meaningful change. In this case, my goal was to get Steve to the wave silent disco and see if he could experience it for himself. When you start moving in a different way, you start seeing how that feels, how that fits on you, right? So when you're moving in a, in a different direction than mm -hmm. you're used to moving, you're like, oh, I've, I've never done this, but this feels good and this feels lighter and this feels, you know, this feels better and smoother, then you're more than likely to keep moving in that direction because it's rewarding and it's fulfilling. So it takes you from that person A to that person B. Exactly. The way you do with many of the people you work with. Yeah. Interesting. In that moment. Yeah. In that moment. Mm -hmm. And it's this a, is a, just a, a another way to do modality, that. Of a different course. modality, of course. Different modality. Interesting. Well, I'd be very interested in exploring this journey with you. You definitely should. I really think that you would like it. It's You've intrigued me. Yes. I honestly, have, I have not met one person that has not liked it. I think you really? go in there and even for me, I, I don't consider myself a dancer per uh -huh. se. When you hear the word dance, you're like, oh wait, no, I can't dance in front of other people. Like, absolutely not. But again, she she brings it out of you and I would love for you to try it. I'm I as think. stiff as a board. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I, 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 play, I play a lot. I'm your persona A. Okay. I go to the gym yes. and I do repetitive weightlifting okay. and other things. So I'm stiff as a board. Ah. I bike every night. So my muscles are like tied up in knots. And um, this could be something very interesting because yeah. it sounds like it would loosen me up from the stiff guy that I am. Well, it's interesting that you say that. And I love this, and this is perfect, mm -hmm. uh, because you go in there thinking, you know, that you're going to go in there and just move your body. You're going to loosen up from this, uh, from the stiffness of your body, right? Yeah. But that's also a metaphor, how you can go in there from the static or the stiffness of your mind in certain ways that you didn't even know that you were experiencing and loosen up in your mind and go from that old man to that new man yes so i definitely think you should try it out um i'm not only intrigued you... okay i'm like really excited about this uh this adventure this journey yeah it's gonna be great yeah i'm so curious as to how you'll transform and uh transmute and just all kind of like butterfly, you know? So, so we'll see from one session, because that's what happened to me. One session. That's all one I needed. So. Well, I'm Mr. Cocoon, so <laughs> let's see if we can get me out of that tight tightness and, uh, and see what happens. Definitely. Okay. So I'll set something up. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. The day had come to get Steve and other guests to try the Wave Silent Disco experience. Before everyone arrived, I had a chance to speak with Julia one-on-one. -on -one. So thank you for sitting down with me and uh, giving me a little bit of insight about what you do. This place is amazing, number yeah. one. I love it. Lots of good energy vibes. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, I love being as immersed in nature as possible. <laughs> I know. I, this is This is perfect. Perfect. And um, so I'm glad I was able to catch you before you left town. So feeling pretty lucky and aligned. Yeah. And I want to hear more about what you do. So I've been to a few of your silent disco wave experiences mm -hmm. down in South Beach. And they're outstanding, like breakthroughs all around. Mm -hmm. I've gone and, you know, shaked my booty. And it's been it's been incredible. So it's good to finally sit down with you and talk to the person behind, mm -hmm. you know, um, the wave silent disco. And I wanted to know more about what you do, uh, how you do it, why you do it, how it's helpful, all that good stuff. So, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to share. Yeah. So, okay. She was curious as to what I had taken away from my past wave silent disco experiences. For me, I get the same experience I get from when I travel. I'm in this mm. different reality and mm -hmm. I can see myself 
from the outside looking mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. And yeah, um, I hear you. It's like more you become an observer of your experience. and Exactly. Yeah. And it, it, it feels that way. And uh, with the music and you're by the water. And again, I'm there every day. I, I'm there all the time. Silent the disco area. really is like a portal, I find. Yes. And a lot of people you know, really feel like they are, they travel inside, they travel like almost as witnessing their life, right? And becoming more an observer to their life when they are wearing those headphones because it just, it blocks out their noise canceling. So it blocks out any external noise and you're just completely there with yourself. And then of course, when I guide people to connect with each other, that, that connection happens, but it's an easier way to spend time with yourself. Mm-hmm. And people have a hard time spending time with themselves. There's distractions all the time and our attention is being hijacked. And so and sometimes you just don't want to. And yeah, that or we're avoiding. We're avoiding, you know, because we're in our heads mm-hmm. and being in our heads can be torture, you know, can be mm-hmm. just tortured by the constant. So uh, this experience brings people into their bodies and they can just be in, like enjoy their own presence for once. Then, of course, we discussed one of the major objections to the experience, the self-judgment of not being able to dance. So what this helps you do is like it removes that self-judgment. So then it, as soon as you remove that, it almost doesn't really matter what everybody else thinks. It's your own self-judgment that you're worried about, yeah. you know? And I, I, I'm the type of person who's like, oh, no, I can't really dance. I can't mm-hmm. dance. So like going there and... Um, dancing and uh, just, you know, whatever. You don't have to have rhythm. You can jump, you can kick, you can do yeah. whatever, roll and stand if you want to. But um, it's just like removing that self-judgment. Yeah. And and that's the validation that we're seeking the most, our own. Exactly. And when I hear someone say I can't dance, I hear them saying I can't fully be self-expressed. What kind, uh, of, life is, what kind of life is that? Mm-hmm. If you're restricting and holding yourself back from just being and moving, you know? Where else are you doing that in your life? I now wanted to move to one of my most pressing questions. What exactly is dance therapy? So dance therapy is actually a field in psychotherapy. So it's a master's degree level of education. It's a three-year program where you study Mm -hmm. the science and the art of how the mind and the body are connected with our emotions. Mm -hmm. I was deeply curious as to what made this therapy so effective. One of the reasons that this dance therapy is so powerful is that it gets people out of their heads. Like what mm-hmm. I had shared, you know, a story, a story, a story. It's sometimes it's all created in the mind and it's fear based and it's, you know, worry about the future. It's thinking about the past. We're trying to get people into the present moment Mm -hmm. where their power really lies and where life exists. And so when you bring people into the body, if you think about it, your body is where? It's here, here. right here. Mm -hmm. It's not in the future. It's not in the past. It's always right here. And so people, when they have um, trauma, sometimes they dissociate from the body Mm -hmm. because the body it wasn't safe at the time, you know, maybe they experienced some abuse and it was not safe to be in the body at that time. So their soul almost, or their spirit almost leaves the body. We're helping people feel safe in the body again. And so when you get into the senses, which we do in the beginning and the music supports that we are allowing people to come back into the present moment and actually feel themselves and actually land in their Mm -hmm. body. And maybe they've been floating and drifting in their mind all day or all week. And we're just like, can you, can you have your mind just land in your body for a moment? Just feel, feel your skin, feel the wind. Even right now we can feel the wind. We can feel our feet on the ground. We can feel our breath in our body. And there's something really self-regulating about that. So the music supports that it really is gentle. And, um, then it picks up, you know, it picks up at once we begin to rhythmically connect to each other. Rhythm is a really big part of dance therapy. First, though, we want to connect to our inner rhythm. So there's that mm. inner wave that's happening right in our life. And then there's the outer waves of life. And sometimes, often, people are really... Uh, you know, drawn and distracted by the outer waves, by the outer rhythm. And we're trying to do and match the outer rhythm and we're ignoring what's happening inside. Mm, Very true. So that's, that creates a lot of discomfort for people actually, because if you're tired, but your friends are going out, 
and you're forcing yourself to be on that rhythm when that's really not where you're at, you're going to end up getting sick or, you know, exhausted or burnt out. So it's very important to, for people to tune into their own rhythm. And so we choose music to facilitate that, to facilitate an inner rhythm, to facilitate connecting inside. Then after when we want to get rhythmic and external, we can also choose music to facilitate that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also choose music based on the elements. So I use elements a lot and like drums for earth, more water like for water, fire and air. And so music that creates the rhythms of our elements are also used and so yeah it's an arc we bring people up to a heightened ecstatic state and then we bring people right back down to feel grounded and the idea is that we experience the range of human experience right all the rhythms it's very eclectic it's not people ask me what's the genre it's eclectic we use everything from world music to dubstep to lyrical to meditative to you know pop song here and there or funk you know i and it's purposefully designed that way so that we can access different states of being different emotional states that are uh, inspired by different rhythms and different melodies mm, i love it okay i knew the music had I could certainly see how vibing to our various emotional states and tuning into our internal rhythm could have a potent effect. I wondered what breakthroughs others had with this experience. I want to talk a little bit more of several experiences that you know people have had. Mm-hmm. Um, I know for me, it, it helps me just kind of uh, not be in my head so much. It mm-hmm. helps me just... Uh, let go of judgment. It helps me just uh, be who I want to be and be who I truly am. Yes. Rather than thinking this is how, you know, I, I'm told by <sighs> the outside world I need to be. So it really helps you let go is the best word that I can yes. use to describe it and just mm-hmm. be free. And um, which is, I think, what we're, a lot of us are looking for. Uh, and we seek it in different ways with different things, some healthier than others, yeah. some more conducive to your path than others. But uh, so what are some of what are some of the biggest breakthroughs you've seen people had through the wave? Because I know you do a lot of stuff that's one on one, which is very personal and I'm sure very powerful. But what are some of the breakthroughs you've seen with people just dancing on the beach or in nature? Like what what have you seen simply by putting on some headset and moving? Yeah. Um, So I have heard lots of stories. One, the most common one is I've never felt so free. Like what you said, I've never felt so free and I've never felt so free sober. A lot of people, Mm -hmm. you know, they feel that they need to take substances or drink in order to loosen up, in order to connect. And at The Wave, we really create an environment where you don't need anything. Like we get high on our own supply. (laughs) You know, we it's it's the combination of being outdoors by the water. You have the negative ions from the water and which is really nature's antidepressant it's a natural Mm -hmm. antidepressant being in nature so i have to give some credit to nature here um and then just the idea of getting out of you know being able to dance and do what you want and you know it helps that there's other people that are doing it with you and other people are just walking by and you don't care it's like the best part about it is that there's life application here once you've done it here at the beach it's much easier to go out into your life yes and just be yourself and not worry so much mm-hmm. about what other people think. And, um, you know, that's the biggest thing is I've never felt so free sober. Uh, another breakthrough that people have is in feeling. I cried. I ha- I didn't expect to cry. Mm-hmm. And they come, you know, it's a silent disco. You know, you think yeah. disco music, you know, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're in tears, mm-hmm. you know, and that is a huge breakthrough for people because they're finally feeling. And the body, I say, is a highway to feeling. That's why in talk therapy, it's a lot of story and you're avoiding actually the mm-hmm. feeling. You can avoid feeling by talking a lot about story. But if you go into a feeling, the feeling is really where it's at. And also a feeling is fleeting, but people don't realize that. People Mm -hmm. avoid feeling because they think they're going to get stuck there. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is that a feeling, a pure feeling, a pure emotion is really maybe 90 seconds, one and a half minutes. Yeah, one and a half minutes long. It's the story that keeps it going forever. 
<laughs> but if you just feel a feeling and you rage and you're like, ah, you're like, ah, it transmutes. Okay. And then it changes, it transmutes. And now mm-hmm. there's another wave of a feeling and you're just with that and you move that feeling. Maybe there's tears rather than stopping yourself from crying. Just cry. Yep. Let it flow through you. And then the next wave comes yes. and you just are allowing yourself to be a channel and flush your system that there's always going to be like, emotion is energy in motion. Mm-hmm. And if you aren't moving, you're going to be stuck and that emotion will be stuck. And you're wondering, why am I feeling so depressed constantly or why am I feeling this certain emotion? And I can't get out of it. You're probably moving in a similar pattern in your life. And at the wave, what we're doing is very strategically getting people to move in ways they've never moved before. Yes. There's something in dance therapy called. Now the question I've been itching to ask for a while. Does dance therapy go even further than talk therapy? And so in at the wave, what I like to do is I like to help people move in a way that they don't typically move. Let's get you out of your pattern, out of your habitual wave movement and move with your elbow, move, you know, backwards, move forwards, move zigzag, move with initiating with your hip, make as many different shapes as you can. So I'm getting people to literally create new neural pathways in their brain by moving differently. And that is allowing you to then live in a more expressed way. So if you're constantly, if you think of this as all the range of movement that you can have and you're here all the time, Mm -hmm. right? You're sitting or at your computer, you're walking straight, sitting down, you're lifting weights. It's like one way of moving. Mm -hmm. That's how much you're going to be able to express. Mm, And that's how you're going to be able to relate to yourself, to life. But if you expand your range of movement and all of this, look, the whole world opens up to you. You get to see from a new perspective. You get to feel and experience yourself differently. And so the wave, a big chunk of it is really that. It's inspiring and inviting people to move in ways they've never moved before and to have fun with it. As a coach, I can definitely see how this allows the body to lead the mind. I love what you're saying. So two things that I wanted to know. Number one, uh, I love the fact that you said that people come, oh, you know, it's a disco, I'm going to be dancing. And I think that's that's huge because you're catching people off guard with their guard down. If you're going into just regular right. talk therapy, it's like, all right, subconsciously, let me do what I always do. Let me put the walls up. Don't let, you know, but here it's like, oh, no, you're going to dance. You're going to move. You're going to be at the beach. You know, it's going to be like a music festival, but, you know, on the beach, nothing, no crazy drugs or anything. So then people are more open, you yeah, know, and the true. resistance kind of just kind of flows away. And another thing that you're saying, I love it because it goes in line with, um, I teach something with my clients. I work with them with self-signaling. I don't know if you've heard that. It's like a term from psychology in which you, in reality, you don't know yourself as well as you think you do. So you watch yourself the same way you watch others and uh, base an infor- a decision based on, on your actions. So a lot of what you're doing, there's like mosquitoes in my face. I know, we're in the trap here. <laughs> I know. <sighs> I love it, though. I'll take it. But um, so you watch yourself and you determine who you are based on your action. So a lot of the times, if you if someone were to ask you, well, you know, are you into health and fitness, for example? Okay, well, I wake up, I go to the gym at 5 a.m. You know, I eat healthy, I do this. I, yeah, yes, I am. You know, because you watched yourself. You watch yourself lie a lot of times. Yeah, I'm probably not the most trustworthy person you know so you watch yourself and based on that you inform you know who you are and i love that about the movements because you not only do you inform other people if someone thinks you're really aggressive and then you start changing the movements and you do you're doing something else and you're creating a new experience for not only other people experiencing you but for yourself yeah you know and that's like that's the big thing it's like that that um, how am I experiencing myself, mm-hmm. you know, and what are the different dynamics and ranges of who I am? Yes. And there's some people that will say, well, I could never do this or I'm just not like that. Mm-hmm. And I, I love that with movement, mm-hmm. you're, you're showing them, not telling them. And exactly. they, show themselves they show themselves most importantly. Yeah. There's a lot of self-reflection. I always say that the wave is about reflection and connections. So there's elements of forgiveness, there's elements of gratitude and really like self, self um, being with yourself in a compassionate way, a lot of compassion yes. and then choosing, OK, well, now you get to choose to be different with yourself. So what would it, what would you move like 
if you were more kind. Let's move in a kinder way. And then they're actually in real time reprogramming themselves to move in a kinder way. And I believe that movement is a metaphor. You know, the wave is just a laboratory for life. Mm. And we're coming there, we're moving, and you get a chance to really explore and see how it is that you move through life. And you get to also an opportunity to try on a new way to move through life. And uh, that's why I love it. You know, there's so much life application and and the wave, it's the name, you know, creates waves into your life. It create ripples into your life. Yeah. I love it. So <laughs> all of this talk of dancing, I want to get out there I know. and Let's shake and it. move and transmute, transform. Let's do it. So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my Thank goodness. you. I needed more details on how one can explore personal change through the wave. So let me ask you one final thing. Yeah. If someone's like, this sounds cool, I love it, I kind of want to do it, maybe they don't have access to it, they don't live here and then they're, or anywhere near it, or maybe a little scared to just hop on a website and like make it super official. Is there anything practical that someone can do at home oh, to yeah. start off? Definitely, definitely. Um, well, one of the best things, um, you can try the turning on three songs and dance. Okay. I love that. See if it resonates, you know, with you. And you'll probably, you know, you'll have one of those like, whoa, how did that song just speak to my life? It narrated my life. Um, so that's a fun way to do it. Just dancing, like just purely dancing in the morning will okay. create a shift in your state. Mm. So you can keep it simple. Turn on a song and dance. Um, the other thing I would say is shaking. Shaking is a very powerful powerful mm -hmm. way of clearing energy. I always say it's kind of like an etch and sketch. So if you have an etch and you're like, oh, no, don't really want it. Or like, I'm, I want to create something new and you shake that etch and sketch, right? So that you can create a new drawing. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the body. It's like, if you're feeling like their energy is just like a painting a picture in your life that's not so pleasant anymore or that you're kind of like, oh, this doesn't feel good. Shake it out. Shake your whole body. Turn on a song. Turn on like drumming song or some kind of fast page song or like even mm -hmm. like Taylor Swift's song, you know, um, and shake, shake your body. I'd say those are two really great ones. And then also, you know, meet yourself where you're at. Um, if you're feeling like really hyped and you need to calm yourself down, Maybe you mm -hmm. got to get one song out where you're getting it out and then put on a second song that's a soothing song and move in the opposite mm. than you were just moving. So if you're moving fast, move a little slower. If you're moving all over the place, move a little bit more with direction. Um, and, you know, I teach all of this. So if people are more interested, they can also learn and study with with me. And I really teach people practical ways of this work. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Okay. So <laughs> those are good ways to get started. Practical. Yeah. Something you can do at home. Yep. No one's watching and just really kind of be with yourself, as you mentioned. And mm -hmm. they can also contact you, all of the resources you gave us. Yeah. And, uh, or come join us in Miami Beach. Come join us at The Wave. The Wave, <laughs> the wave is in anywhere. LA. It's in, in New LA. York. It's in West Palm. Um, and we're spreading. And I'm, I'm training a new, like, new facilitators to take this far and wide. I really have a vision that there's chapters all around the world and we're actually going to be launching um, a platform where people can stream in from wherever they are and Love join. It. So yeah, wherever you are, let us know and we'll, we'll, we'll allow you to access it. So we just got to find the, we got to place a pin on the map of where you are and then you can join us. I <laughs> love it. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much, Soul. And uh, oh my Shall goodness. We dance? Yes, let's, let's dance. dance. The time has come, time to get Steve and my other guests to experience the wave silent disco. Scan your body, scan your mind. How are you doing right now? Let's just set an intention. What would you like to experience? Why did you show up today? What do you want to dance for? What quality do you want to bring into your life? So we're moving into circular movement which is different than our day-to-day -day linear to-do list. We're also signaling that the mind can rest for this next 20 minutes. Reaching your shoulders up, back and around, circling the shoulders, letting the weight of any shoulds that you've placed on yourself, even if I should be here right now or there, can you just sort of surrender to this present moment and trust? So your body is an incredibly intelligent system. 
It tells us when we're a yes to something and when we're a no to something. And if you can learn to listen to that, you can start to make decisions based on your truth. So I want you to feel like, what is a yes like in your body? Like, what does yes look like? Just be like, yes. 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 What does yes look like? Like, if you were a yes in this moment, what does that look like in your body? But sometimes life doesn't always feel like a big yes. Sometimes it's like, oh no. Oh no, I did that again. Or, oh gosh, the situation. I'm not a yes to the situation. This is a big no for me. So we gotta honor that. We have to honor the no. So let's just find what does a no feel like in our body? How do we tell when we're a no to something? Is there a different way that you're moving? So you can pinpoint that or you can simply have your body show you what it's like when you're in that place of being critical or negative to yourself. So often it's actually our own self that restricts us that brings this energy of, no, I'm not capable, no, I'm not good enough, no, I gotta do it better. And so maybe that's present for you somewhere, maybe not. See if you can pinpoint a way of being that's a pattern that you're ready to let go of. And just dance from your heart for a moment, your heart's yearning for a different way to be. So you can move off of the space and just dance your heart. Like what is your heart feeling when you're this way with yourself? I was surprised to see how easily the guys got into this. They really seemed to be enjoying themselves on their first experience. Steve had lied to me. He was not as stiff as a board. Overall, I just hope this group got as much out of this experience as possible. As Julia had mentioned, the reason that dance therapy is powerful is because it gets people out of their head. She gets people to connect deeply inside, connect to their breath, connect to their body, getting into the senses with the supportive music where one is allowed to come back into the present body, into the present moment, not in the past, not in the future, but here in the now. You disregard the outer rhythm at first and tune into your own inner rhythm. You tap into the wide range of human experiences, a freeing experience, getting you to move in ways your body and being craves, shifting you from habit to creation, carving your own path through movement, willing into existence your deepest desires through dance. From the beginning, I was curious on two things. Number one, whether or not this modality could replace talk therapy. Number two, the effect this experience had on others. Being in this present moment and finding uh, what it is that makes you happy and your purpose and um, not worrying about the, the how, how, you know? It's just like knowing your why and eventually you're, you'll get there because you're aligned to your mission, yeah. so. I want to say for me, uh, before I came here, I didn't know what it was, but I checked in with my own body before because, you know, that's what I do. I said, should I go? I got the yes from my body. And I said, okay, when I got the yes, I just came. And when I was here, my intention was just to be spontaneous and enjoy the moment. So I realized that every time that I tap into that, just allowing the flow of life to take me and be part of that flow, I feel so much better. And that's why I'm here today. And I had a great experience. I didn't even know what was gonna happen. I was like, all right, let's go. So thank you because definitely this helped me like tap into my intuition better. Thank you. Spontaneity. Yes. You brought out something inside of each and every one of us that I don't think any of us knew we had. Uh -huh. so thank you. Or maybe had an inkling. But <laughs> an inkling. <laughs> I came to the realization that dance therapy impacts each person in a different way. Each person gets what they need to. This call to tune in and connect with themselves and move from habitual response 
to the inner vibration of their being invites everyone to live in a more expressed way, in whichever ways that means to them, creating a very therapeutic experience. Which brings me to answer the most pressing question of them all. Can this experience replace talk therapy? Paired with the guidance of a mental health professional, this therapy takes you one step further than talk therapy because it puts you in your body and out of your head. Maybe not a replacement for talk therapy if you're doing this on your own, but a deeply powerful way to enhance your own healing. So I invite you to carve your own path and try it for yourself. You never know what kind of impact it'll have on you.